Hi, my name is Thomas Bayer. I'm professor of physics of medical imaging here at the Medical University of Vienna. I want to briefly introduce where I came from, what I've learned, and uh, tell you a little bit of a story. So first of all, I'm German, don't hold it against me. So life started many moons or stars ago when I was born in Dubna, a small city near the capital of Russia, Moscow, by the river Volga. And from there, my life carried me after I passed kindergarten to Dresden. I arrived in Dresden where I went to school. Dresden, for those of you who don't know, is in East Germany. It's the city where they speak with a very strange accent. You don't want me to repeat this. And I went to school there and moved on to Leipzig, another city in East Germany where they speak a variant of this type of dialect. This is where life took me to study physics many years ago. Uh, Leipzig is also known for its fairs and fair trades and fairly we have been treated at the University of Leipzig. So Leipzig was a great city but chocolate sucked. So I chose to do a summer stipend in Switzerland and first I went to the Paul Scherer Institute where I got exposed to PET imaging for the first time and then I moved to Geneva for a three month stay to work with David Townsend which later became one of the core teams to develop the PET CT. I'll tell you later about it. After I had enough chocolate in Switzerland I went back to Leipzig to finish my masters in physics and then David Townsend invited me to join him and his team in Pittsburgh and what you see here is a Andy Warhol imitation of the skyline of Pittsburgh, the city of the three rivers. Uh, it was a great time there and we actually managed to build the first prototype of the PET-CT you will hear more about in later videos. So in Pittsburgh I worked on methodological aspects of the PET-CT and I finished my PhD at the University of Surrey. Then I had a one to two year interlude at a company in the US that actually manufactured these PET-CTs and one of the systems went to the University of Essen which you see right there and I decided to move to Essen in 2001 and become a clinical researcher with the PET-CT team there. So Essen may not be known for its architecture, but it was certainly known for its wonderful clinical cooperation. We had a great time with the PET-CT team. After a couple of years, I was offered a job with an undisclosed Dutch company back in Switzerland where I became the clinical research manager for the collaborations worldwide. And I moved back to Zurich. Having worked with a lot of international collaborators, I decided it was time to move on and I set up my own company called CMI Experts, still living in Zurich. A CMI stands for cross-modality imaging and this is a field that I've stayed in ever since. So after a couple of years in Switzerland with my little company, I applied for a professorship in Vienna and I was awarded this position. So since four years, I'm now in Vienna at the Medical University of Vienna, and I set up a group called QUIMP, Quantitative Imaging and Medical Physics. So I mentioned cross-modality imaging. This is really a cross-country perspective of where I had the honors and the pleasure of working. And now I'm here in Vienna, and I'm very, very happy to work with the team.